Director, welcome back to National Report. Elon Musk's Twitter takeover causing some major reactions from mainstream media this week. Yeah, our panelists are standing by. They're going to weigh in on who might have the best and worst reaction, Paul, Tom, so this and is a Donna. Vote? Yes, so let's all watch together, and then we'll get your comments. Here's that. You own all of Twitter or Facebook or what have you. You don't have to explain yourself. You don't even have to be transparent. You could secretly ban one party's candidate or all of its candidates, all of its nominees, or you could just secretly turn down the reach of their stuff and turn up the reach of something else. And the rest of us might not even find out about it till after the election. Elon, this is all to help. And in people. fact, on Twitter, it is predominantly straight white men. So when Elon Musk says, wow, this is about free speech, it seems to me that it's about free speech of straight white men. And so let them have it. Let them just go at it. I enjoy the block button on Twitter. Um, I think it has a real outsized influence in, in, in our world because politicians and celebrities are on it. The bottom line is, as you said, if they want, they don't want to just be in the club. They are, the, the, they are on the, you know, they've been described as being on the outside of the culture looking in through the glass. But they don't just want to come in. They want to come in and be able to punch people in the face and walk around and laugh about it and yes. not have anyone be able to stop them. The, the thing is, the, the enjoyment they get out of being in this town square is being able to harass people, being able to attack people. Elon Musk, I guess he, you know, he misses the old South Africa in the 80s. He wants, he wants that back. Stars right. and stripes. A number of options to choose from. Paul Chabot, what stood out to you the most? You know, I'm going to go with all the above. It was a complete <laughs> race to the bottom, but what I will say, I reactivated my Twitter account after a year, so check it out. It's DR Paul Chabot uh, for the Twitter. You know, it's, it is a race to the bottom. I was shocked to hear them say these things, mm. but I guess that's what we expect. But you don't have one in particular that was the worst for you. I just, I was sitting back shocked that I was hearing them all. I would, I, I can't. I mean, I, they're all so horrible. You've just got to put them all in the deplorable category. Let's go over to Donna. Your thoughts. Do you have a pick? <laughs> well, they're, like, I agree with him, but Joy Reid stands out. She's so funny to say that somebody's punching when her, when her side has always been telling people to harass conservatives at every instance. I mean, this is the same people that threw a banana and wore a gorilla mask when um, we had a conservative black Republican running in California. Oh, yeah, Larry Elder. I remember that moment. Tom Borelli, we'll <laughs> close with you. Do you have a pick? Now, I agree with Paul. I think all three were just amazing uh, display of, of amazing hypocrisy. Uh, the two ladies threw the race card multiple times. The individual from MSNBC worried about uh, Twitter and other social media companies adjusting things for one political party. Where was he last year or two years ago with the Hunter Biden laptop? Extreme hypocrisy. I'm glad Musk is doing what he's doing. All right. The vote is unanimous. I guess all three are the worst. Uh, <laughs> MSNBC uh, to the host there and The View again. Uh, it's good to see Paul Chabot, Tom Borelli, Donna Jackson joining us. Enjoy the weekend. Thank you so much for joining us. A new hour of National Report starts right now.